So we are back here now and we're going to do this uh, part three of this beautiful picture here. Uh, now what we're going to do is let's work on um, this flower right here. So let's work on this flower here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pull out, we need these colors. We need sky blue, okay, which is right here. This is sky blue, so we have to have sky blue. Then we need non-photo blue, non-photo non blue, which is PC919. Then let's try denim blue, which is PC1101. Then indigo blue which is PC 901 so I have all my colors out now and the first thing I'm gonna do hold on, is the first, hold on one second sorry I'm ah oh shit I'll start over so now I want to work on this is part three of my video uh, tutorial on how to uh, color this beautiful page here from Johanna uh, her book uh, from the magical jungle uh, what I want to do right now is I'm going to work on um, this flower here and I want to use these colors is what I was thinking about using which is uh, sky blue we've got the non photo blue we've got the denim blue and then the dark indigo blue so the first thing I want to do here is this are the these are the the pencils all the colors the same colors that I just picked out and um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the um, the uh, cloud this is the um, uh, sky blue light and the first thing I want to do is I just want to uh, put a nice base on here but I want to leave some whites in in the middle area just like uh, if you've been following my videos just like the same techniques are, are always the same just the colors change once in a while the techniques change but what I'm doing now is I'm just putting in a nice base here of this really pretty light blue and I put it in fairly light you know we don't need it to be dark you don't need a lot of pressure leave it leave some white in the middle here I leave some white you know right here in the middle um, so yeah all right, so now, so yeah, I'm uh, funny, I'm getting, all right, so now we're going to use this color here, which is the non-photo non blue, and I'm just going to go right along the edges here, and then just start shading into the flower, so I just kind of come up here like this, okay? and come in here and then I'm going to come down on this side here I'm seeing shadows uh, I can't fix it right now but I'll fix it on the next scene hopefully we're messing around with the lighting to see how I could get better lighting um, I'm new at making these videos and I'm still learning on how to get them better but it's a process like anything right all right so that's a little bit better now I'm going to just nice I got a nice light in the middle which is nice now I'm gonna take the um, the denim blue and add some really nice darker shade to that so now really got a nice darker darker shade right in there and you just see if when you want it darker you just put a little bit more pressure or just keep going over it lightly this is not you know a race you just have fun and fun and color right so but you still you want it to come out amazing right so you could put it on the wall or whichever I'm actually gonna do a couple things I've done some stuff with mine where I put them on a piece of chipboard the pages that I did and then I, I have I found this really cool varnish that actually makes it look really hard and shiny like like a coaster uh, it's like a like almost like a ceramic tile so it's got a really good varnish on it and when you 
uh, put that on. You can make coasters if you reduce it or whatever for your home, or you can, um, I mean, on a printer, you know. Um, um, on the prints itself, the, from the book, you just mount it, put a little varnish on it, and hang it up on your wall. And everyone can enjoy it. All right, so there you go. And I am going to now take this cloud blue again and use that as kind of like a blender tool instead of a white because I don't want to make it too um, white makes it kind of like a frosty kind of a color where it uh, doesn't dull it yeah I guess it does it really softens it a lot but it also takes uh, gets rid of the brilliance so I'm gonna keep it by um, putting in this cloud blue instead of the blue instead of the white so that's it right there that looks really good I'm gonna come back in and do some uh, here at the at the end I guess but let, let me go through here and I'm gonna do all the rest of these and then I will come back and show you some more now what I want to do is just grab that indigo blue the you know the, it's a darker blue and just lightly let's just put in a little bit of more depth a little bit more definition and that's I don't want to do too much this flower is pretty bright already but yeah see just a little bit makes a big difference it's that contrast going from the darks to the lights that really make it pop out and be really striking you know so I'm gonna put some blue in here okay and maybe these little lines on here there's some lines little parts to that okay and I just perfect it and make it so that I like it I'm just gonna do that all around throughout and I'll be back in my normal traditional way <laughs> Now, I think what I'll do here is take um, a little bit of this uh, uh, canary yellow, which is a PC916 canary yellow, PC916, and lightly put it in the little inner leaves, like so, and then it may be in the middle, huh? What do you think? Okay, that looks good. And then uh, let's put a darker shade, which would be uh, yellow okra, yellow ochre, uh, PC942. And I'm just going to, not the tips, but just put it right at the base and then go up. Okay. And then the next color that I would use would be, um, Let's do burnt ochre, which is PC 943, and darken it a little bit further on the edge here. Just a little bit inside there. Some depth. Maybe I'll do it on the outside, actually. Yeah, I think I will. And then put it on the outside like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then. So uh, I played around here uh, with this and I thought that that was pretty cool. So um, I'm going to take some canary yellow, whoops, sorry, put some canary yellow in the base here. Then take um, uh, this color, which would be, let's see, which should I pick here? Uh, yellow ochre, 940, oh, my camera, 942 yellow ochre. And just go right in here just at the bottom and the sides a little bit but leaving the tip and take this one which is a uh, PC 943 uh, which is called burnt ochre and just go up like that and then add some dimension to it and then take that burnt ochre and go all out, out around the edges a little bit. And it gives it a little bit of a, a glow. 
And then take um, the, a cad, cadmium orange, which is PC118, and put the cat orange in the bottom here, and again around the sides. And same thing over here. And just keep going around and till it is perfecto. Well, you know, it takes a while, but that's the thing. There's no rush. You just take your time and and then that's what makes it come out so good, is that because you're giving it the love. You gotta give it love. Alright, so I'm gonna finish these and uh, I'll be back. Oh, okay, so I am back. Uh, new day today, so I'm starting fresh. Um, what we're going to do here is let's do this flower, just so you can see how we're coming along so far. Here we go. And let's do this flower using these colors right here, which are going to be uh, magenta, hot pink, pomegranate, black grape, and neon pink. You could uh, pause this and get out all the colors if you like. And then I will show you here how to do this. Okay, so let's take um, the, starting with the magenta and just coming around lightly with my normal technique, a little flicking action, and put the magenta in here. All right, leaving some spots open for the light. Magenta in. Okay. And a little darker on the sides. Just a little bit. Bring it up. Hey. Okay. You know, do that process. Same thing here. All the way around this flower. And I will be back. So I went around um, and did all the um, magenta here. And I, I did this little petal here, and I want to do the same all around, so let me show you how to do that. So take the, uh, the black grape, which is the PC996, and with the black grape, just go on the sides here, and deepen the middle, going towards the middle, flicking it up lightly so it comes up and leaves the little lines for your petal. And just fill this area in nicely with love. They're love petals. <laughs> oh, I'm a funny girl. I crack myself up. Okay, so we got the purple in here. Okay, and so that looks good. Then we're going to take the uh, uh, pomegranate color. I love pomegranates. They're messy, but sure love them. All right, so PC195 pomegranate, and let's put the pomegranate starting at the bottom, overlaying the purple, and then come up a little, come up a little, so that you can see the pretty pomegranate color. Go around this little guy, and just come up like so till you're happy with the shade. Then take um, our wonderful hot pink, use that a lot, which is um, uh, the PC993, and, and go up. I worked on my book a little last night. My color, it's called um, Coloring Book reference color guide I think I don't know I'm gonna come up with the name but basically it's gonna be a, a book that um, has different flowers leaves and then on the flowers I'm gonna put the colors I use and all that kind of stuff alright so now let's um, take uh, the hot pink again I'm gonna go up a little bit higher leave this little area here open for the highlight which is going to be that neon pink. So just come down and then let's put neon pink right in here. And that neon pink gives it a really pretty highlight at the tip. 
It's a pretty vibrant color, but it looks really good when you blend it with other colors. And then uh, just bring that down. I broke another nail. I'm going to have to fix my nails today. All right, so we will go down here and to it's good. All right, and then I'm going to continue that on this flower, and we will proceed and do another flower. And well, we got to finish this one off though, but I'll be back here. Let me just get this done, and I'll be back. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, now um, what I want to do here is let's finish this uh, little baby off with some uh, just some black. Just let's put some uh, black uh, right in here. Make a nice black and then go around the circle to leave a little white spot in the middle. Okay, and then let's just uh, re outline some of this because it kind of got lost a little bit when we were coloring it. When we like to have, like have multiple personalities, yeah, when we were coloring this, I just I'm thinking of you, but it sounds like oh, when we did this. I'm like Sybil now. Okay, so, well, I do talk to myself actually all the time. I'm doing these videos and I feel like I'm talking to myself right now. Okay, so we come up here and just go around the lines a little just to redefine them a little bit so they didn't get lost in translation. Okay, it looks better. Um, I think I'm going to take a little bit of that hot pink. Uh, let's grab some of that hot pink here and put a little bit of that hot pink around this edge here. And there, yeah, that looks good. Alright. Oh, okay. We will move on to do another flower. Now I want to do this uh, flower here. So let's start here by doing these edges. And the reason I do these edges first is because a lot of times when I'm doing it, it's hard to see the ones that I want to leave plain. So I'm going to just start by doing the edge. So um, I don't want to do every one the same. So I'm going to just start by putting in a light tip of this is PC904. Actually, let me show you here all the colors I will be using. I should have done that before. Sorry about that. Alright, so um, I'm going to be using the PC904, which is light cerulean blue. Then I got PC1002 Blue Lake, Mediterranean Blue, uh, and then Cloud Blue, and then Grade Lavender. Okay, so um, let's take the uh, PC904 and just put in the edges. Okay, so start by doing that and put the, put the edges in nicely. Then take uh, the cloud blue, uh, which is the PC102, uh, 1023 cloud blue, and then put the pretty cloud blue in here and just use it as a blending tool so I'm using it kind of hard pressure because I want to bring that blue down into the base of the petal so just like this and then uh, maybe make it a little bit darker at the tip again just a little bit at the tip to give it a little spunk there we go Okay, and just do that like this all the way around this this row right here of flowers all around that row here. Okay, so I will do that and then come back when that's done and show you the next step. Now I did all this, so let's take um, the uh, light cerulean blue PC uh, 904 and begin to 
do these little petals, but leave the tips white because that will we'll put the cloud blue over that. So go through here and then I'm gonna do this on all the petals, getting them nice darker at the bottom as usual and then upper at the top and then take the uh, the cloud blue and put the cloud blue on the tips. Okay, and blend that in. Do that all the way around. Uh, actually, let's take, uh, yeah, just that's fine. So I was going to start shading that, but I think I'll just wait. I'll do this in steps first because got to be methodical, right? So go through here just like this and do that all the way around. I'll be back when that's done. I completed this step. Uh, I also uh, just took a little bit of the uh, Mediterranean blue and I darkened this the throat just a little bit and that's how it got this kind of pretty little blue halo effect. So just go in to these crevices here and get the blue in there like that. Then take that Mediterranean blue and do all these petals in the blue. Just like this. And go all the way around. Go all the way around. Alright, so now I went around here. I put the Mediterranean blue in here. I did a little bit of that cloud blue right on the outside on the little ring and then the lilac here or the um, gray lavender in the middle. Now I'm going to take this gray lavender and lightly go over these petals right here and that gives it a really nice uh, deep kind of like a layered look to the petal and it uh, I don't know I think it makes it really pretty so we'll add a little bit of that in there gives a lot of, kind of like a little watercolor effect, doesn't it? It looks really pretty. So I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, now take the uh, lights, uh, the light cerulean blue, PC904, and then uh, make a little line, not, not really that dark, but a line just so it looks like it's got a, a little stem. Because this one doesn't have a line. I could draw it in black, but I think it would be too... Uh, a little too harsh if I drew that line in black so it kind of looks better if I do the uh, little line by itself like that and then uh, just leave the tips Ooh, light the white color do that all the way around like so okay and this goes all the way around like so Okay, and then a little darker in this area in here. A little darker. Then go up. Okay, and then. Okay. It's a white now. Alright, so now I'm going to do this and uh, go all the way around the flower um, on this row of petals. And I'm going to do the same thing on. So these, these two rows of petals. So the same exact procedure around all of the petals. So hopefully you're doing that too, and we'll be back. All right now, just take the uh, the lilac and just go over all the petals with the lilac like this, and then after that, then take the white and then with the white blend it all in the white and do that all the way around until it's done so do that and all the way around all the way around all the way around and do that all the way around here and then we're gonna put some uh, lilac on the edges like this, 
and put lilac on all the edges of the flower and then uh, let's see do I want to put yeah maybe I do let's take the um, uh, let's do a blue lake the blue lake color that we got here and with the blue lake just come on in here and just add a little bit of shade with this blue lake just right in here like that and then Go shade it a little bit. Shade it. Come up to the tip lightly. So I'm going to shade that um, in the middles all the way around. Um, just in the middle, give it a little bit of highlight. And then uh, let's try. Let me see. Let's see what this cloud looks like. And then take the blue cloud to blend it in. So instead of white, let's blend it in with the blue cloud. Okay, and do that all the way around. Alright, you want you can just throw some in there, however. It's all the same colors that we're using. So because it's got a watercolor effect, you can kind of just play around and just, you know, further just define and build your build your colors. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of blue cloud more, put a little here. And then, um, oh, I got a little trick for you, my handy dandy trick here. Um, this is a um, uh, uh, an eyeliner pencil, believe it or not, uh, made by Rimmel. And it's called 24 Hour Color Pre uh, Precise uh, by Rimmel. And, but look at the tip. Uh, do you see how sharp this tip is? It's like a um, brush pen, I guess. And just uh, line the tip with that and then you can even put it on these little ends right like this but it works like a kind of like a little mini paintbrush but it really can add a, a lot of a little bit more dimension and it's and it doesn't dry all the way white it's um, kind of blends in to the to the uh, color so this will be a light blue but it gives a really smooth uh, variation in the in the you know when you add it those jelly rolls don't really stick to the paper they're hard to get working but this little trick is awesome <laughs> I love this thing so uh, you can even if you want let me try that put a little up here on the tips and then bring it down like that and then bring the little lines down and then that will also give uh, a little bit of highlight. You don't even have to, you don't need to do it on every petal, but just, you know, a couple or just on the tips of every one, even if you'd like. I actually kind of like that. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that look. So um, that's, that's the little trick to this. Again, that's it right here. I'll put a link to it on the bottom. You can get it on Amazon, uh, Walgreens, Target you know that kind of thing it's a little cheap pen it's like two or three bucks but it's way better than those jelly pens all right so I'm gonna continue and finish this flower and be back and back um, I decided that um, when I was doing this it was a little light so I'm gonna add some of this in here um, this color is um, denim blue uh, 11 PC 1101 and I'm going to just make a line here, a little bit of a line, and then just add a little bit of a denim blue just to the sides a little bit. And it gives it a little bit more of a definition. I just thought it was a little bit too light. Um, and since the other colors are so vibrant, I wanted to add a little bit more vibrancy. So um, just do this throughout. Um, I, I I think I'm just gonna do this petal. I don't know if I want to do this one or not. Um, I'm gonna maybe I will. Let me try. So let's see if this looks. I just don't want to do too much, you know. But let me see. I'll just do it lighter at first, just to let's see if it's if I like it or not. If I do, then I'll go all the way around with it. 
Yeah, I guess it brings out the color a little bit, huh? Yeah, it just brings them out a little more. So, just do that then. So do this throughout um, all, all these layers right here, and then I'll be back. Now, let's work on, uh, what I did actually um, was just go over these lines with that dark blue, and I went over these lines with the dark blue as well, uh, just to define that a little bit, because it was a little bit too light. So, there's that, and this is how it's coming along so far. See, we got that going, and that pretty flower, that blue is so pretty, and then now, let's work on uh, this flower right here. So these are the colors that I want to use for that, which is PC 929, my birthday 929. And then we got pink, and we got some lime peel, then we got the yellow, and some black raspberry. So these are the colors if you want to get them out to follow along. Now, um, I'm going to very lightly, because I went too dark once in a while, and I'd rather go light at first. Uh, I want to put uh, light, put the pink in here, just lightly put the pink. Okay, this is a pretty color. I like the way that each one of the pencils, if you notice, they feel a little bit different when you're actually using them. Some go on real easy, some kind of the pigment isn't as good, but this one just goes on so nice. So I'm just going to put the pink in right here, nice, nice pink. And I put a little line up the middle to give it a little bit of a definition um, coming off the starburst. So um, do this, I'm going to do this all the way around, and then after I do that, sorry about this, I got to do that, my white was getting a little bit, uh, usually I will um, sharpen my pencils on a piece of paper and just by rubbing it, rubbing it, and, and rolling it in my hand till it's sharp because when you put it in the sharpener it eats your pencil up and makes them shorter. So I kind of sharpen it, but when they, when they get too small where you can't do that anymore, you have to sharpen them. So after I do this all the way around, I already know I'm going to be adding the white. So I want to add the white in, in here and just lightly bring up the colors into the so I'm gonna do that all the way around now I want to take the starburst yellow PC 917 and put the pretty starburst yellow in here this yellow looks good up against that pink so just keep putting this in like so. Starburst yellow. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to put the, uh, let's take that lime pill, the lime pill, the PC1005, and put the lime peel just around the edges a little bit. Just around the edges and then go into the middle and leave a little white spot in the middle and go outside the edge just a little bit to get that little just to create a halo effect around the outside I like doing that kind of my thing I like it so make a little halo effect around the outside go in until you leave a little space in the middle like so okay now let's uh, take the uh, pink again and make this just a little bit darker. Uh, I think it needs to really just be a little bit darker against the yellow. So just go back through and make it a little bit darker. With Again with my flickering little technique. I don't know why, it's just the way I do it. So I just kind of flick it up. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go all the way around this side like that and just 
darken that just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to dark it even more with another color coming up in a minute. So I'm going to do this all the way around until I get a little bit darker. Okay. Just play with it a little bit until you feel comfortable with how it looks. Go up a little if you want. Okay. All right. There we go. And just do this throughout the uh, rest. I'm just going to darken this up and be right back. Now let's take the um, black raspberry, which is PC uh, 9015, and then I'm going to go right outside the edges here and just define the edges of this, which makes it really pop, and then put a little bit, just a little bit, in the bottoms. A little bit in the bottoms, and I don't know if you can hear my TV's on in the background. I'm watching Wendy Williams is on right now. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to go up like that. There we go, and I'm gonna do that same thing all the way, all the way around, and then um, just outline the edges a little bit to give it an effect of, so you can see the black raspberry color instead of the black. And just kind of come around here and then like so there we go and I'm gonna do that all the way around and um, I think maybe here let's put some in here too take some in here okay hot topics is on I don't know if you watch Wendy Williams, but if you do, Hot Topics is on. Okay, so I'm just going to do this now, outline, and do the same thing. And then this flower will be done, and we'll go on. Well, I might, yeah, then this flower will be done, and we'll go on to the next flower. Okay, now this one's done. Let's work on this flower here. And um, I'm going to turn down, hold on, I'm going to turn down my Wendy. Uh, what we're going to do now is use these two uh, colors, which are... Um, uh, salmon pink and uh, cad orange so that's these here and then what I want to do is let's get uh, this salmon pink and let's lightly put in the salmon pink here sorry I have to just and we'll just um, I think I want it to go around so we'll make it darker on a little darker on one side and then a little lighter on the other side so it's all in here but just a little bit more so it looks like it's leaning we'll make it look like it's leaning a little bit um, sorry okay oh it's so entertaining okay so I'm going to do the same thing just around and I'll just put everything kind of the same way where it's a little bit heavier on this one side than the other side and just keep going through through here the whole flower I'll do the whole flower the same way come up a little here a little bit around here okay I don't want that so distinctive a line. I mean, you get a little line's good, I guess. Okay. And just go around like that. Continue that all the way around the flower, and I'll be back when that's done. So I went all the way around, and then I added a little bit of the uh, Starburst Orange in, in here. Now I'm going to take um, some Cad Orange and lightly just... Add the cat, uh, cat orange lightly, just lightly. Then, as I get towards the edges, I'm going to make it darker here, darker, darker towards the edges, and then lighter again towards the middle, lighter towards the middle, and just to create a little, a little ring here. 
And then, you know, I love my little halo, so I'm going to go around the circle and lightly, just lightly, create a little halo, leaving a little bit of the yellow. Eh, just go around, whatever. So we'll just go over the yellow with the cat orange. Okay. Now I want to take the um, cat orange and I'm going to just um, start putting it down in here lightly. Lightly, just like that. And add the cat orange. Just lightly. Give it there. Okay. And leaving a little the light showing so that it has a kind of a glow to it. And I don't want too much, I just want a nice amount there. So I just play with it until I really like it. And it looks Looks good. So then I just do the same thing on all of the leaves. Just go around lightly. Just lightly. In. here light, lightly very light touch right here just light feather light here and then darker down here where the shade is darken that one up a little bit more yeah just play around And I'll do that same thing all the way around and then this little baby will be done and we'll move on to another one.